Welcome to our Yellowfin video on getting started with Yellowfin inside an AWS environment. Now to get started, you'll need to log into your AWS account. Once you're within there, you'll obviously get all your usual AWS services. If you're not very familiar with using AWS, uh, there are a lot of resources available to you about getting started and some help, as well as there's options within the support forums. This video is going to focus purely on getting Yellowfin started. So to start Yellowfin, you'll need to go to the EC2 console by clicking this link here. This is where you go to start a virtual server within Amazon's cloud. From the EC2 administration console, you can easily manage all your running instances as well as launch a new one, which is what I'm going to show you today. So simply click launch instance. Now within here, you get to choose what you're wanting to launch. So you need to go to the AWS marketplace and search for Yellowfin. From here, you can have a bit of a read of the synopsis. Uh, it's really important that I point out here that what you're getting with this instance is a free 12 month subscription of Yellowfin. Uh, this in includes three users who have the ability to create and share unlimited reports and dashboards. If you want to upgrade this, you just need to contact sales at yellowfinbi.com and we can arrange for your new licenses. Now click select. So next you have to choose your instance type. Yellowfin recommends choosing at least the T2 medium or anything above it, which will just meet our minimum requirements for what we need. These environments do involve additional expenses from Amazon, so you can get more information on that on the Amazon website. If you're just wanting to do a little trial of Yellowfin to get the feel of it, you can use this option here at the top for the T2 micro. This allows you to have free access to this server for up to 750 hours. So you can just do a trial and then shut it down when you're done. For today's purposes, I'm going to show you this T2 micro version. Then click next. This page is where you get to configure the instance details. You can always come back and configure these details later. But it just pretty much allows you to control the number of instances and the various network settings. I'm just going to leave it with all the defaults for our example. And then I'm going to click review and launch. So now I get a bit of a, a review just so I can get a summary of what I've chosen. So I can see the instance type that has been set up. I'll just point out the default security groups, which you can change. Uh, these are just the ones that we've recommended as the defaults. When you're ready with everything, you just simply press launch. You'll get a pop-up next and it's about a key pair. And the key pair is used to get access to the back end of Yellowfin. So if you're needing to adjust any of the program files or something like that, you will need a key pair. However, if you're just doing a simple trial, you're not going to need that. And so again, for our example, I'm just going to proceed without a key pair. You can also later come back and set one up. You'll just need to tick the acknowledge and then press launch instance. Now this is just going to initiate the instance. It might just take a minute while it's creating this environment that you've just requested. So now the launch has been successful. I can simply click on this link and it'll just sort of open up the summary of all my instances. And so now this is the instance that it's just created on this instance type. Uh, it's still initializing, which is sort of setting up Yellowfin at the moment. And I can see that the current state is running. Uh, down here in the description and the properties, I can see our public IP address. This is the most important bit that you'll need to have this IP address to be able to access Yellowfin. So you simply need to copy this and you can put it into a new browser just so that you can see Yellowfin. Uh, so now that we've actually got our Yellowfin instance up and running, the first thing you're going to see is your login page. Now you haven't received a username or password yet. Uh, to receive this, you'll just see a link here at the bottom to register to receive your login details. So simply click the link and you'll just get this little form which you can fill in. Once you've completed, simply press submit and then you'll just shortly receive an email with the username and password which you'll then be able to use to log into Yellowfin. So there you have it, you have now officially set up an instance of Yellowfin on a virtual server within Amazon's cloud. For more helpful tips, please see our other videos.